lie your petties on you down the mile. So, somebody'll have a cheap thrill. Got more important things to think about this morning. Are you not still on about her? Aren't I? Just you wait and see. Well, look, Mum, you've got no proof. It was Ina Sharples who wrote that letter. You heard what Ivan said. He said Ina Sharples said that Annie Walker didn't write that letter and she knew it. You know, you heard him say that, yes, didn't you? Yes, but he... But nothing. Ina Sharples has opened the lying gob too far this time and she's got to know about it right now. Unseemly, we're just about to conduct a religious service. Oh, she's inside, is she? Hiding behind her religious principles, just like her, the hypocritical old bag. Oh, come, 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 come. We mustn't have such profanity on the Sabbath. It would be all indeed any other day. Mrs. Sharples has gone to visit her sister. Oh, more likely gone to polish her arms. <coughs> she said she would be back about midday. Oh, did she? Well, in that case, I'm going. And you can tell her I've been. Oh, and while you're about it, you can tell her I'll be back. Oh, good morning, Mrs. Tanner. Is Lovely it? morning. I haven't noticed. Well, that's not like her, you know. Or perhaps she's worried about that letter, you know. It seems a daft to me, Ken. You know, this is just how I like it, Ken. Anyway, it's none of our business. No, but it's worrying, you know, when a thing like this happens. Yeah, but if you get a decent paper for a change, Dad, you'd realise there's a bit more to worry about in this world than Elsie Tanner and her boyfriend. Ah, uh, you mean about your bombs? Yeah, I mean about the bombs and that. And they're not just my bombs and the observers, you know. Well, I know I may be wrong, lad, but somehow I, I just don't see it the same way as you do. I mean, Khrushchev and Kennedy, they don't live in Coronation Street, but, well, Elsie Tanner does, you know. Look, you can't just think about your own street nowadays, Dad. We're living with people on the other side of the world, you know. <sighs> ah, well, that little all come out in wash, lad. I'm going in for a read. You come in. Yeah, but, uh... I married a female head hunter. Runcorn girl, sold a slave. Palace window cleaner tells all. Ah, in a Coronation Street bed warmer could tell all and all. Where's the flaming cigarettes? How the heck should I know? Well, you can just get your baby dolls off and run down to the corner sh No, on second thoughts, you stay where you are. I told myself it could be a lot quicker in the long run. Yeah, what are you doing with that? That's my best jacket. Well, if it is, you shouldn't hang it up on the floor. Let's see, two, six, three, Bob. Mm, ten. That's, that's mine. Yeah, I know your motto. What's mine's yours and what's yours is your own. Well, things are going to change around here, lad, I'll tell you. Oh, not again. What was that? Now, look, you can start by tidying this place up. You can get them pyjamas off. I'm sick to death of seeing you lounging around like Marlon Brando. But I've left this place looking like a pigsty, and you can hang that up for a start and pick these papers off, off the floor. Won't do you any harm to do something a bit useful for a change? Charming. I don't see why you pick on me just because you've got the dead needle to Dracula's mother. It's not that if you must know I've got something else on my mind. You're doing a lot of gallivanting these days. I mean, you never used to get your dressing gown off till dinner time on Sundays. I've told you, I've got something else on my mind. Oh, yeah, Ina. No, Mr. Cleverclog, it's not Ina, not just yet. Mm. Got a much harder knot to crack, and I'll thank you to mind your own business anyway. Oh, aren't we little Miss Sweetness and Light this morning? You'll be little Miss Sweetness and Light if you don't get this place cleared up by the time I get back. What's the use? We should be wanting some new pot towels, love. These are all going in holes. I never like them anyway. They're left lint all over the glasses. Ah, so uh, what do you think you're going to do about it, eh? Different ones, of course. No, I meant Elsie. Do about it? I fail to see as it's up to me to do anything. Well, you're bound to see her sooner or later. I do hope there's going to be no nastiness. Honestly, Jack Walker, to hear you talk, anyone would think I had written that wretched letter. I suppose the whole business is my fault now. Nay, nay, I didn't mean that, lass. But I hate atmospheres. They upset me. I like everything to be nice and friendly-like, especially in my own pub. Oh, do you? Well, isn't that nice? I suppose if Dr. Crippen were to come in here and do me in in front of your very eyes, you'd serve him a drink and wish him a Merry Christmas. Mm, Dr. Crippen's dead, lass. Anyway, hell. Is different. I should hope so. What do you think I'm going to do about it? Yeah, I don't know. If I did, I wouldn't be worrying myself about You're it. You're worried because you don't know enough about your own wife. Nay, no, no. Yes, yes, just because I don't fall over myself to be nice to people I don't like doesn't mean I haven't got feelings, you know. When you were snoring your head off last night, I was lying awake wondering how I'd felt if I'd got that letter. Well, it's a bit late for that now, isn't it, lass? Well, there's no need to use that tone. Nay, nay, you know what I mean. Do I? I wouldn't be so sure of myself if I were you. I know what you think of yourself, you know. You're an open-minded, nice fella that never does no harm to anyone. But there are times when you can have a very funny double meaning. We, uh, we were talking about Elsie Tanner. Well, we were until you started. I know exactly how she felt. I know exactly why she walked in here and behaved as she did. 
She's not a well-educated woman yet. You've got to face that. And when that sort get hit, they only know one thing. That's to hit back, and they don't care who they hit either. They just lash out. Oh, well, I reckon they want pity. Well, so do I, if you'd hear me out. That's what I'm going to say. I am sorry for the woman. I'm very sorry for her. The fact that I've had advantages she hasn't doesn't mean I don't understand her. It's all the more reason why I should. Mm -hmm. Oh, well, I'm glad you feel that way about it. Hey, Annie, it's uh, Mrs. Tanner. Indeed. Tell her we're not open yet. I know that, Mrs. Walker. That's not what I've come for. I'd like to have a word with you. Yes? Uh, about last night, I want to say thank you very much for the brandy. Oh, it was... you needn't have troubled. I should have done the same for anyone who was in the state you were in. Yes, I know that. And I, I've not come for that, though. I was grateful. I... Mrs. Walker, I'm very sorry. I should think so. I, I don't know what come over me. I, I knew perfectly well that you wouldn't have written a letter like that. I was just... I was just so upset I didn't know what I was doing. Well, I suppose you know half Coronation Street heard what you went on, quite apart from my own feelings in the matter. I'll apologise in front of them all, if you There's like. There's no need to. I'm quite capable of accepting an apology by myself. Then do you? Yes, I do. Well, right then. Good morning, Mrs. Tanner. Good morning, Mrs. Walker. Good morning. Well, I'll go to her house. I thought you were sorry for her. Well, it's one thing telling you, but it's another thing telling her. I don't want her coming in accusing me, you know, every time something goes wrong. <sighs> and they say men make wars. Well, we have the sense to fight with words, love. That way, no one gets killed. You dressed yet? Oh, give us a chance. I've only just got up. I'm having a sandwich. I'm dead hungry. Yeah, must be our graff lying in bed. Where's Mum? Out. Well, I didn't think she was hiding underneath the table. Hey, has she seen Nina yet? Yeah. Uh, no. Uh, I don't know. You're not interested, are you? Oh, honestly, Dennis Tanner, sometimes I think you're more like a stranger than my own flesh and blood. Maybe I am. Maybe my mum just found a shivering little bundle on her doorstep one day and that were me. Well, that wouldn't surprise me for the amount of interest you show in her affairs. I can't help it if I keep my feelings hidden, can I? Not like you women, nattering and wailing all over the place. I'm going back to bed for a bit of peace and quiet. Haven't you got home to go to? Yeah, I'll go back to it if you like. This happens to be my Sunday for making the dinner. Just come in to see if you've got enough spuds. As a matter of fact, I'd forgotten. I suppose that's supposed to be an apology. Oh, will you shut up about apologies? I've had enough apologising to one madam this morning. Who? You get yourself dressed. Annie Walker, I suppose. Well, you've only got yourself to blame. Oh, go on, sympathise. I expected that from you. I was only telling you. Well, I don't need telling. Honest, you go on about him, but he's got more consideration than all of you put together. You, you've no feelings whatsoever. So now we know. So now we know. Now I've forgotten the flaming cigarettes. Well, I might expect you not to say anything. Oh, oh here he is. Oh, my gum, you're early. Have you been standing up? Ah, first on, Sabine, all right. Two pints, please, look. For supping. Hi, by gum, she's getting on all right, isn't she? Look at them bumps, eh? What bumps? Them on your arms, darling. Oh, where did you think I meant? Well, I never know with you and your one-track mind. I dirt track they sometimes call it, you know. I mean, pulling the pints, getting muscles, you know. Yeah, and I suppose you're developing yours, drinking them. Go on, right. tell us how you're in training for the Mr. Universe yeah. contest. <laughs> no respect for the customers, this one. It's getting dead cheeky, isn't she? Yeah. Ah, I seem to remember they had an Irish barmaid here. And from what I heard, she had you two pretty well taped. <laughs> you know. I'll tell you something else, love. She still has. Sure. Well, it's too quiet. Oh. Jesus, what, what have you done now? Mr. Oh. Walker, I'm ever so sorry. It just slipped out my hand. Oh, I go. That's all oh, it. Shit. It were Annie's favourite. Well, I'll buy her another. Hey, no, lass. This one's been in the family nigh on 50 years. And I wouldn't mind betting it was found on Midden in first place. Isn't it very valuable, then? I doubt it. But that won't stop Annie thinking it is when she sees what you've done with it. Hey, give it here, Jack. Right? I'll take it round to Albert Tedlock. He'll be able to fix it before oh, she gets back. Would? He's marvellous at fixing it. Up he is, you know. Any scruffy old thing, he'd make like a new pin in no time. Hey, would you better take your friend along while you're at it? He looks as though he could do with a bit of renovating. <laughs> you mean to say you use three quarters of a pint of milk and only half the quantities of dual things? Yes, and you see it went all sad and soggy in the middle. No, oh, Minnie Caldwell, if anything's sad and soggy in the middle, it's you. Can we have two milk stouts, please? And we'll have them in here for a change, seeing as how it's Sunday. Hello, Elsie. Oh, 20 cigarettes, please, Tip. Oh, what's the matter with Aunt Elsie this morning? That face had turned the milk sour. I'm sorry, it's the only one I've got. I've had it for some years and I've no intentions of changing it now. 
Come on, love, I was only joking. Aye, well, there's too much of that goes on round here and all. People want to think what they say before they open their big traps. Well, what have I done? I wasn't referring to you in particular, but there's a certain energy old bitch that comes in here that... Hey, hey, Elsie, now. You mustn't talk like that about it. Why shouldn't I? Why shouldn't I say what I think? She didn't care what I thought when she sent me that filthy line muck in that letter. Look, she's been asking for trouble for years now with that vicious wagging tongue of hers. Well, this time she's going to get it because she's come to the right one. Well, I wouldn't go jump with the conclusions if I was you, Elsie. Well, you're not me, so you're in no position to say. I just said I'd... Yeah, I know, you just said you'd help out of a lunchtime. Well, see, that's all it is, I know. And don't forget we're next door. If you come back after two, you'll be having charcoal and two veg for dinner. Hey, what have you got in your arm? Oh, it's Bob Smith's letter. I haven't read through yet. Oh, how's he doing? Smashing. He thinks Canada is wonderful. He sends some wonderful photos. Oh, let's have a look, then. Oh, Linda, I've got yeah, to go. I'm late already. Yeah, I know, on whilst I look at these. Hey! Hey, it's just like a film, only real. He certainly's done well for himself. Oh, look at all them drying cupboards. Hey, and a spin dryer. Oh, don't it make you sick? Oh, I go for the outside balcony. It's a porch. Yeah, well, whatever it is. Oh, I can just see myself sitting on that, knitting and eating chocolates, listening to a transistor radio. What's he done? Come up on pools or somewhere? Of course he hasn't come up on pools. I, I must go, Linda. Oh, yeah, so you just hang on. Well, he must say he comes up to the pools on me. You don't say he got all this just by working. Of course. Man will be there. He's like me. Except to pay him five times as much. Oh, yeah, I know about that. Five times as much. But everything costs five times more. So you're back where you started, aren't you? Does it look like it? No. Hey, hey, well, I can't stop gassing to you all day. I don't be late now, will you? Love? All right, two o'clock. Oh, yeah, that's all right. Ta-da. Oh. wonder if you'd ever have a kitchen like that, love. Because you don't have to scrimp and scrape like your old mum and dad. It's a funny thing. When you're kids, you can't wait to grow up. And when you're grown up, it's all worry. Nothing but worry. Oh, good morning, Mr. Sharples. You're back, I see. Sherlock Holmes rides again. How did you spot that? I have a message for you from Mrs. Tanner. S-W-A-L-K, I suppose. I beg your pardon? Sealed with a loving kiss. Oh, you live in the world of your own manners, so you start... What would she want? She said she wanted to talk to you. Well, I didn't think she was coming to bring me a bunch of flowers. Do you mean she come here to the mission? Don't tell me she's been converted. No, no uh, she was... Uh, she was knocking on the vestry door. Knocking rather belligerently, if I may say so. In fact, I thought she'd do it some damage. She, uh, she said it was rather urgent. Oh, did she? Well, I can't help that. I have a very important appointment to keep, and I have no intention of breaking it for Mrs. Elsie Tanner. She was very upset. Oh, go on. You're bringing tears to me eyes. Don't worry. She'll not get maggots in being she's kept waiting. Heaven knows she's preserved herself well enough for years. But... And as you're always the first to say, Mrs. Swindley, business before pleasure, Mrs. Chappells. Business before pleasure. here and say things like that. Ina will have the law on her when she hears about it. Oh, I shouldn't say anything, Martha. It'll only cause trouble. Minnie Caldwell, I'm the last person in the world to repeat gossip, as you well know. But I should be doing less than me bounden duty to me friend if I didn't tell her the horrible things people were saying about her behind her back. Oh, haven't they got pretty little feathers in? What have? Why aren't you playing with them? I do enjoy watching you. I think they look lovely when they're stuck all round the, bar the board. Ah, uh, Sunday, love. Uh, we're not allowed. Oh, do you think... I mean... Do you think I'd get into trouble if I threw one? I mean, it isn't as if I'd be playing proper. You? Well, it's something I've always fancied. Well, I don't think they're doing their uh, Sunday lunch down at Scotland Yard, would it, then? Oh, you never know, though, you know. Hey, Jack, is your front door shut? Oh, I... Well, keep your eye on the back, because oh, Minnie's going to throw a dart. Yeah, oh, no. perhaps I'd better not. Oh, come on, muck a nettle, love. Stand on that line there. Look, I'll show you how to throw. Just raise your arm like... Hey, hang on a second. Oh, is it Just the a minute. No, 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 it didn't. I want to make it a bit more exciting, is he? I think we'll have a, a William Tell touch, shall we? Ask Annie if she's got an apple, will you, Jack? Oh. You're not going to put it on your head, are you? No, am I, Jack? I'm going to put it on yours. Oh, dear. Oh, no, I don't think I should, really. Well, that's a relief, anyway. Well, it seems a pity to spoil a perfectly good apple. What's Maid Marion up to? I'm throwing a dart. Well, but you might be throwing a fit steak you haven't inmate. It's that concussion. What are you doing here, anyway? Have you come into money? Hey, no, there's something you ought to know. Oh, don't start upsetting her. I think we ought to go somewhere where it's a bit more private. Don't care where we go, as long as we get a bit of service. Ooh, them Sunday buses, I could have walked down quicker. Hey, is there anybody about? What are you doing growing the ops? Look, we'll have three milk stouts and we'll have a bit three of service seeing that we're ordering them in here. And don't you charge us a penny extra because we're drinking them in the snow. Hey, Correct. Ina, it's that Elsie Tanner. She'll come in here like a female. 
Um, Mr. Walker, what is it? could you, um, would you serve the ladies? I've got to tell something, uh, there's something I must tell uh, Elsie's mother. Oh, all right, lad, get along then. I can manage for a Thank bit. You. Is that a pudding you're making? Yeah, Yorkshire. Thought it might be something for after. Are we having anything for afters? Look, every other Sunday I come in here and make Sunday dinner, don't I? And I've ever not given you anything for afters now, have I? Go on, get your own back. I deserve it. Oh, sit down and cheer up. We'll get all this business sorted out. Hey, how many spuds shall I do? Oh, I don't know. Just enough for you and Ivan and Dennis. I'm, I'm a bit off my food. Well, what are you on about pudding for, then? Well, I thought I might manage a bit of rice or sago or something. Oh, it's not as bad as all that. Oh, isn't it? You don't know the half of it. My inside's churning up with aggravation. Hello. Hey, you're back early. Dinner's not ready yet. I haven't come back for dinner. What is it? What happened? What's wrong? Mum, you shouldn't have said those things about Mrs. Sharples. Mr. Walker told me all I about have. it. I have. You come back starting more bother. I only said what was right. Linda, I'm trying to stop bother. Oh. Well, Mrs. She... Sharples had a row of snow and, and her friend's telling her all about it. Oh, she's in there, is she? Right, ma'am. I'm finishing my cigarette. Oh, now look what you've done. This was supposed to be a respectable house. I don't have the face to call it that and allow such language to be used on the premises. I should like to point out, Mrs. Sharples, that I wasn't on the premises when the incident occurred. Unfortunately, I'd gone round to Mrs. Lindley's. Otherwise, you can rest assured it would never have happened. I'm not interested whether you were here or not. All I know is that my good name has been solid, and as you and your husband are the licensees of these premises, I shall hold you partly responsible for any action I may take. Oh, but, Henry, it wasn't Mrs. Walker who said it. It were Elsie Tanner. She knows that. No, I've not forgotten. What are you going to do, Ina? She's going round to see that Elsie Tanner. Yes, when I'm ready. I've never been one to turn me back on a row, and I'm blowed if I'm going to allow it to interfere with my pleasure. Hey, come on, honey, come on. They're, they're skinning air flying out uh, there. Well, they're fighting with double barrel rolling pins. I'm not kidding you. They're dead serious. You're telling me, and I don't want to get mixed up in it. I'm no stomach for women fighting. Oh, yeah, come on, honey, come on. Hey, there, lass, you better stop where you are. Here, you're not going, are you? Yeah, I wouldn't be low on myself. Still, as your party to blame for what's happened, hey? perhaps I'd better go and see if I can put things right. Come on, Doug. Yeah, hey, what do you mean? There never have been nobody. So well-known fact, people have been talking about you for years. Oh, I'd expect you to know something like that. Every lying bit of gossip that goes about what you don't know you make up. We don't need sewers around here. We've got Tina Sharples. Ah, there's something wrong with a woman that can't hang on to her husband. At least mine wasn't carried out feet first. What do you mean by that, eh? What do you mean by that? Are you listening to this? What you was witnesses after this? It's no secret round here that you're lashing to death of that I gum all this in the Sally Army too. Let's go on. Oh, I'd get back into bed if I were you. You leave my chair back in the bed. I only need to say what I've got to say. I'm not ashamed of anything I've done, and I'm not afraid of the truth. I... Dennis, Dennis, get up! What's up now? You've been the parent room. You're letting me in out this bed like a flaming yo-yo. Yes, ma'am, she's gone raving mad. Oh, what's she done now? It's not what she's done. It's what she minded. She's having a slanging match in the street with Ian and Sharples. And I've had to go back to the Rovers, and I can't leave the baby. Well, what do you want me to do about it? Do you want to go out there and stop him? Who, me? Oh, Dennis, this is serious. Yeah, well, keep your hair on and stop worrying. She can look, look after herself now, ma'am. Oh. Tell you, I don't like it. Oh, it had to happen sooner or later. It'll oh. clear the air anyway. Why didn't somebody stop her? Well, they never do. They just stand back till the fighting starts. Yeah, no, they haven't come to that yet, but they will do it if yeah. someone doesn't stop them. Well, just look at everybody. For anything that matters, they'll be at home watching the telly. I've listened to you talking as long as I can, but this time, I've held myself back out of respect for your age, but this time I'm going to land you one so help me. No. That's right. Go on. Strike a poor old defenceless woman. That's just about your level, Elsie Tanner. But before you raise your hand and damn yourself forever, if you haven't already done it, you'll listen to me for a minute or two. I know all about that letter, and personally, I have the slightest doubt that everything in it is out but God's own truth. You think on this, Elsie Tanner. I know plenty about you. I know plenty about you that you don't think I know. 
I could have written a full-length book about you, let alone a letter, but if I had written it, if I had written it, it wouldn't have come anonymous. Oh, no. I've never been afraid to stand behind my own beliefs. If I had written the flaming thing, it'd have had Ina Sharples in big black letters at the bottom of it, well, you know it! I'll go on, stand there and deny it. Ah, oh, listen, Elsie, you got it out of your system. Come on in and have a drink, there's a good girl. Ah, oh, come on, ladies, it was only a misunderstanding, wasn't it, really? Why not kiss and make friends, then? Well, we'll make friends anyway. Dennis, take me over. Yeah, come on, man, get it. What are you going to do, Ina? Come on, love, and I'll buy you a drink. Every street had its own Aunt Sally. Nay, now. You talk till you're blue in the face. But if there's out goes wrong round here, I know which way the finger points. Say what you like, but you know Ina Sharple, she's a character. Uh, I'll tell you one thing, I'm glad our Lucille was at Sunday school. Ah, she'd have been running the thick of that, though, wouldn't yeah, she? she would. yeah, I don't know about you, but I'm a most dust up out there to give me a heck of it first. <laughs> come on, let's have a pint, shall oh, we? Right. Come on, don't keep your best customers waiting, love. Hey, come on. Look at that. Look at that miles away. Well, I was just thinking, now the excitement's over, I've remembered the plate. Hey, do you think she'll sack me? Oh, Annie's not like that, love. Oh, and what isn't Annie like? <laughs> <laughs> aye, aye, that'll be telling. You know, I think she's got two pairs of ears, this one. Ah, well, in that case, when the next time you're talking about me, you better be a bit more circumspect. No, no, you? no, there's been enough fights for one morning without you two entering the lists. By gum, it's pretty good, though, isn't it, eh? Hey, I'll tell you what we'll do next time. We'll have Jack Solomons to come down and promote it, you know, tickets, publicity, the lot. We'll make a package. Oh, well, let's drop the subject for a bit now. I feel like I could do with a bit of peace and quiet myself. Uh, I reckon we all could. Hello then, Albert. Hello. Enjoy the show. Aye, well, a bit of a distraction, though. I wanted to get this finished. I'm sorry it's such a poor jack, but I did the best I could. What's that? Uh, nothing, love, nothing. It looks like my willow pattern. Does it? Which willow pattern? There's only one, the one that was handed down to me by my grandmother as a sacred trust. Now, come on, Jack Walker, you've been never any good at lying. There's no you're too late to start now. Well... Oh, I'm very sorry, love. I, I mended it the best way I could. I might have known you had it in for that plate. Ever since I put it up there instead of one of those vulgar pin-up calendars from the brewery, you've done it on purpose. Nay, nay, I oh, didn't yes, you it. have. You've done it deliberate. You've no consideration. This was just a valuable antique that added a badly needed touch of gracious living to this place, but not for Jack Walker. Oh, no. You'd rather have Miss November coming through the fog in an aisle on nighty and a mink mud. <laughs> Mrs. Walker. No, it's all right, love. Leave me alone. I'm always like this when a thing of beauty is destroyed. I'm like that. Yes, but I'm Mrs. just too sensitive. Yes, but Mrs. Walker, it was my fault. What? Yes, it was me. It just slipped out my hand and broke. You mean you broke it? Yeah. <laughs> oh, well, don't bother, love. Worst things happen at sea. I never liked the thing anyway. Well, I'll go to the back of our house. Well, by gum, we're living it up in Coronation Street this morning, aren't we? You know, before long, we'll be picking sides and glaring at each other over the tops of sandbags. You know? Oh. I'm bad. I'm in charge of the baddies, anyway. <laughs> by gum, it's a Sunday and a half it's been this morning, eh? Well, I'm glad the bother's all over. Perhaps we can settle down for a bit now. Oh, perhaps it's not all over. What do you mean? Well, one thing you all seem to have forgotten. Well, what's that? Well, Vina didn't write that letter, and Annie didn't write it. Who the heck did? Mm -hmm. 